Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are in Zolnok. It's almost 10 o'clock, and you know what 10 o'clock means. It means the start of the first game. And as always, we're going to start with the ladies. It's the U17 Europe Cup qualifier. We are in Hungary. Very happy to be here. Angelo Tsagarakis, your host for the whole event. And I hope that you're going to enjoy this moment with me. And, uh, of course, let's uh, expect a great tournament, great level of competition. It's the best that each nation has to offer in the age categories U17, 4-3, X3, both in the men's and women's bracket. As you see, now you know my name. Don't Google me too much, though. <laughs> But if you want to give me a shout out on Instagram or Twitter or ask me questions as we are, we're going to be uh, following up live. Don't hesitate. I'll be more than happy to entertain all of that. As a matter of fact, I'm by myself. So come and keep me company. I love this. We're going to have a lot of things to talk about. Number one, as you know, this is one of the qualifiers for the Euro Cup that will happen in the amazing Greek island of Crete. Yes, it's not because I'm half Greek that I'm saying this. Have you ever been there? No. Well, if you haven't, you better make sure you go and you'll have an opportunity to discover the beauty of uh, our Greek country in just a few weeks. But now let's focus on who will make it to Crete. Who will make it to this tournament? And we see the ladies of Sweden getting ready. The way it's going to go is uh, it's pretty straightforward. We have four pools. Each team will play a round robin tournament. Two teams will come out from each pool to play the quarterfinals. Whoever wins the quarterfinals get the ticket. Yep, it's going to go fast for a few teams. You only got to win three games. But for whoever loses the quarterfinals, it's not over. Yes, we're generous. We are nice like that. What do we do? We give another chance for a fifth ticket to all the people that got heartbroken in the quarterfinals to keep fighting for that last fifth ticket in both men's and women's bracket. So, I repeat myself, so you make sure you understand. All the quarterfinalists that win, punch their tickets right away. See you later, enjoy the rest of the tournament. For everybody else, it won't be over. There will be a semifinal among losers and a final game. Whoever wins this, pretty much whatever team finishes fifth will punch its ticket as well. So I'm really looking forward to see the young talent display its hunger, its passion for the game. We start with Pool A in the women's bracket. Pool A with Denmark, Sweden, and Great Britain. So, enjoy. I don't know what time it is, where you are. Are you one, uh, one hour back? Are you one hour forward? No matter what, have a great morning. Let's enjoy some 3x3 action. And it's the ladies of Denmark that will start with the ball. With Finder up. And Sweden starts aggressive defensively right away. They understand the culture right away. First steal. The clear. The pass. The left hand. Oh, yes. I like that. Ultgren with the first bucket of the game. And damn, tough contest. Where are you going? Did you think we were going to let you come in easy in the paint? Dylan saying no, no, no. So the intensity right there lets you know how meaningful it is for everybody here to qualify. Once again, great defense. Sweden with the pressure. Not letting the ladies of Denmark to breathe or execute. 
the start of the game. Very aggressive. It was a good take. But the defensive presence. Sweden. See the great hands of Cadwell. Look at the defensive pressure getting up. Ogren. Long range. She gets her own offensive rebound. Board just behind the back. Uh oh. You can't play any better defense than that. Caldwell trying to make life impossible on her opponent. But then the steal. Pindera. Making sure she keeps her team alive. And another turnover. If you don't do it in one time, try it twice. Will they get another opportunity at it? No. It's a jump ball. I remind you the rule. Whenever we deal with a jump ball situation, whoever was playing on defense will get the ball back. But if the ball interchanges hands, whoever had control last is considered to be on offense. So sometimes these situations can be a little bit tricky if you don't follow. She was wide open. Rupstorff couldn't get a better look. But it's never easy to just come off dribbling and shooting. Especially when, when there was no collaboration before the play happened. Great execution on the two-lady action. Got to make it, though. And you know what they're going to say to me? Well, two points is better than one, coach. I hear you. I ain't mad at you. That was a bad help. Caldwell could have paid for it. In 3x3, you don't want to give open twos. Because if your opponent finds rhythm, you may pay a heavy price for that. And now we see Ulgren tasting a little bit of her own medicine. Great defensive pressure on the ball, forcing the turnover. She gets another open look. And this one is bang, bang. She knocks it down. Two people on the ball will get you in trouble. You're going to hear me say that quite a lot. You got to communicate defensively. Because you don't want to allow the opponent to have a, such an easy open layup. And a good drive. Borges. Keeping things alive for Denmark early, keeping the game close. She knocks down the free throw, and it's a one point game. Dylan, ready to shoot right away. And you, you gotta be able to look for those shots in 3x3. Sometimes you gotta take the first option. The first option might be the best option you're gonna get all possession. The ball coming now. So today we're playing inside. Everything was set up for us to enjoy the city center of Zoldan, but unfortunately, the weather does not cooperate. Somebody talk to the weather. Let us enjoy the sun. Make sure that we don't have any other problems, but hopefully tomorrow. Oh, wow. It was like a half backdoor, half alley-oop pass on that one. The ball got deflected. Sweden keeps possession of it, though. Warning on Ruostrov. I'll get it right. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, somebody will come talk to me. Tell me you got to pronounce it that way. I will do it right. I hope. <laughs> I'll try anyway. Strong move. Get out my way. But not strong enough. And the ball stays. 
the prized possession of Denmark. Almost three minutes passed in this game. Things are starting to settle down a little bit. Borges forcing her way in. The extra pass was so easy on the kick out. And then double pain. You turn it over and then the opponent gets an open look. Sweden can build momentum. Give it in inside, give and go. This was not even email, that was faxed. So easy to see. The back door cut. Good finish from Borges. 6 4. Ergren gets her cookies taken. Finder up. Getting right under Olivia. As we see, first bucket of the game. So I hope everybody's doing well. This week in Zolnark is all about 3x3. We just got done with the U23 Nations League. An amazing tournament. Some of the best teams in the world in the age category. Competed extremely hard. You had Germany, Holland, Greece, Hungary, Turkey, and Kosovo. Netherlands and Greece battled it out all the way to the last day in the men's bracket. And Germany and Holland did the exact same thing. I say Holland, you can say Netherlands. I mean, I'm half French. You gotta, you gotta understand that. But anyhow, let's go back to U17. Zolnok, CD of 3x3. If you didn't know, now you know. Two lady action, great execution. But a little bit too far. The pass was a let on too much. And even though Caldwell thought she only had ball, referee saw it differently. Nice move with the spin. Ripstroff. Nice, nice, nice. Ogren. Right off the catch, takes the baseline, draws the defense. The nice dish. And the cut from Caldwell. 7 5. Sweden stays in control, but you have a feeling that Denmark. He's on the hunt. Denmark is not going to make anything easy on Sweden. Once again, Denmark needs to communicate a little bit better. They end up with two girls on the, the ball handler often, which gives clean opportunities for Sweden to up. Uh, Bump up the lead, great hands, cookies, no milk with it though. Turnover right off the bat. And once, ooh, I was gonna say, lucky break for Denmark, because they were gonna pay the double pain. Uh oh, behind the back. Borges wanted to tie things up to seven. Another crack at it with the lefty. Pinned it up, but no. Air ball. Almost reaching the halfway point in this game. Great take. Strong finish. Ultgren giving a three-point lead. Post-up situation with the left, with the left. Great composure, good forward. Long range. Right on target, but flat. And the ball goes back to Denmark. It might go down to the wire in this game. It might go down to the wire. This is a travel. Easy call.
can't pick up your pivot foot before the ball bounced. Oh, handoff action. But it's off. And yes, Caldwell over pressuring a little bit in the end of that play. We'll see the contact on the arm right here, unquestionable. Miss free throw, offensive board. She could have gone up herself. Fujikawa kind of forgot herself on there. And now, oh, Tagger. Biggest lead of the game for Sweden. Four point lead. Finder tries to answer, but she cannot. It's a big bucket. Oh, great. Four points in 3x3 does not mean so much. But when you get defensive stops and you can capitalize, ooh, Caldwell. Wanting to put Denmark's head under water. Problem now for the ladies of uh, Denmark. They need a little bit more movement. The defensive pressure from Sweden is pushing Denmark to go for individual solutions. Not the best option when you play 3x3. Uh-oh, cookies. But cookies back. She said, no, that's mine. But she stepped out of bounds. Sweden in control. Ogren. Draws a foul from Finderup. Finderup was in very good position until she went for the ball and completely opened up the baseline. Also something that I often say to 3x3 players. 
Don't look for the ball. 12 seconds is long, but it's short. Play solid defense. You don't want to give an opportunity to open the lane that wasn't there to start with. In five on five, you can afford to be a bit more aggressive on the ball because you have more help side. 3x3. You ain't got it, baby. Can't hide. Five point lead, level six. Finder up once again, travel. Helping on the ball. Giving an open look. It's a gamble. Ripstorf trying to find a cutting fender up. Unfortunately, ball is not controlled. And two people collaborating well right now. That would hurt. Denmark's still alive, but Denmark needs to find solutions a bit quicker now. Timing's starting to run out. Getting in the last two minutes of this game. And both teams far from the, from the bonus. Great hands. I must say, I am impressed with the, the defensive activity and willingness to uh, give effort from the ladies of Sweden. They play smart, they play aggressive. And also something I appreciate, they don't let down. They keep coming, they keep pressing. That's gonna be a technical second time around that Denmark is making the same mistake. You got to be able to give enough time for your opponent to control the ball before you put defensive pressure. Opportunity for Sweden to go up six. And they do. One thing for me to mention that you uh, need to never forget when you look at, uh, you watch uh, Drex game, Drex three games, think about scoring. 3x3, we don't think about points differential. In 3x3, we think about who scores the most points whenever we have to separate two teams tied in the rankings. Doesn't matter that you beat someone by six or by 10. All that matters is how many points did you score at the end of pool play in case of a three-way tie. And right now, Denmark needs points. And Findera heard me. Good hands, ball deflected, and now it's Denmark just giving it its all. Oh, the dagger, Caldwell. That was tough right at the end of the shot clock, too. Ooh. Great contest, finger up. What a hustle. Wow. The offensive board, the pass. And Denmark. 49 she did not clear. Look at this. One second left on the shot clock. Oh. Right in the hearts of the Danish ladies. Oh, great look. Good defense, though. So, I'm intrigued with... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Röpstorf, I'm intrigued of her choice. She had the ball. Caldwell was on the ground. She could have used that as an opportunity to play three against two. But she kind of decided to throw the ball on Caldwell. That was uh, out of bounds. Okay. She kept possession, but she lost an opportunity for an advantage. Ooh. 
Sweden more than never in control. And now, putting the last nails in the coffin. Long range. And Caldwell just rushing a little bit. Foul or not. There was no, uh, no need to rush it, especially being in the lead. And now. Denmark with one last opportunity to bump up the scoring. You never know what can happen in 3x3. Good defense, clean. She holds on to it, Caldwell. Caldwell could have shot it though. As I said, you want points, but Sweden. Great job defensively in this first game. Denmark will have a shot at redemption against Great Britain. You always want to start with a win. A win puts one foot in the quarterfinals. A loss puts you in a tough spot, but you still have your destiny in your hands. You just make life a little bit harder. Coming right up. Team Latvia and Team Hungary in the men's bracket. First game of Pool A.
Okay, boys. Okay. Let's see what you got. Hungary starting up its tournament early. First man's game of the competition. And Latvia surprised everybody last summer in Greece still. Went all the way to the final to only lose a thriller against Germany in the first bucket to start off. Latvia starting off very aggressive. You can tell there's a three three culture now in this country. Latvia first gold medalist, first Olympic gold medalist in the history of the sport. So a whole new generation of young Latvian talent. Very nice finish. Wants to follow in the footsteps. Peter Nix giving a 2-0 lead to Latvia. Strong take by Varga to try to put Hungary on the scoreboard. And he does. Defensive pressure, Mefzaros. Second team foul against Hungary early. Back door, well executed. Great basketball IQ. Varga gets access denied by Petersons. Nemeth using speed, pulls it back, but contested. Good hands by Killips. Killips kicks it out. Seeing daylight. Petersons did not maximize. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The cross, the spin, the left hand finish. Good take, buddy. That's a foul on the other end. Whoop, the cross. Okay, took you where I wanted to take you. Now, mm, let me go the other way. Mezaros bringing Hungary back within one. That's a foul call. Kislaiza put a little bit too much on that pick to try to free up Akush Nemet. Great contest, great deny. Forcing a tough shot from Killips. Varga sees the ball deflected. Varga and Killips just going at each other. I like that. I like that matchup. I like the challenge. It's a turnover. This is absolutely normal in the 3x3. You gotta be strong. You gotta earn your fouls. Nimit. Trying to use speed. He bumps. Ball does not touch the rim. That's a 12-second shot clock violation. Long range. Completely off the mark.
take was good, the finish was not. Mizaros had the opportunity to tie things up to three apiece. Mizaros, nope. And that's the 15th foul against Hungary. They need to be careful. They're moving up quick. Remind you, 17 fouls put the opponent on the line for two free throws. Tough move. Good contest. Hungary plays good defense. Mismatch in the paint. Size advantage. This Liza cannot go at it strong enough. The good push. Oh, yes, on the other side. Nice lay. Killips showing up. This Liza. The good pass from Varga. This Liza. Keeping things interesting. Killups elevated in that last second. Gave it up. 16 foul against Hungary. TV timeout. So the next foul will put Latvia on the line. Hungary needs to be careful now. Stay in the sport, so they're gonna keep pressing. Great execution of the timeout. And there is a foul, obvious one, the push. Putting two hands on Peter Nix. Kiss Liza. Giving Latvia an opportunity to go up three. Besides the problem of uh, Giving away two free throws when uh, you're in the bonus, you're also getting closer to what we call the double bonus. Do you know what that is? Well, I'm sure most of you now know. But the double bonus is 10 team fouls, which is not only two free throws, but your opponent will retain possession of the ball after the foul. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Great take, those two. Try as hard as they can. Mezeros and Varga for Hungary. Killups and Petersons for Latvia. They want to make sure that after game one of pool play, they position themselves favorably for a spot in the quarterfinals. Five apiece. Hungary. Back in it. Oh, my mother time! Are you kidding me? What's going on? Peterson's the cross, the baseline take. Mezaros is like, you want to shine? So do I. Unfortunately for him, did not come up with the bucket. Oh, big boy move. But not a big boy finish. Mezaros, that's going to be an unsportsmanlike. like They're going to talk about it. It should be. He's holding the jersey. So, the referee preferred to give a warning and say, don't do that again, buddy. I'll have to give you an unsportsmanlike. I don't mind that. As long as we give the same clemency to everybody. Good composure, good patience. Killups. Varga. 
The drive, the kick, Nimit thought about it. The kick again, right before the expiration of the shot clock. He's shifty. He is shifty. I like that guy. Mr. Ross. Earning himself another free throw. And the intensity in this game. Quite interesting. Warning against Killups and Latvia for talking to the referees. So now, only one foul left for Latvia before both teams find themselves in the bonus. And that was the one foul that was left. Killups needs to calm down. He's running high on emotions right now. It's very early, buddy. No need to stress. More than five, like right on the five minutes left in this game. Still up one. Varga. Completely off. <laughs> Looks at his hand after the shot, kind of like, did I do this? Was it me? <laughs> yes, buddy. It happens to the best of us. Peterson seeing their light. You okay. see? <laughs> Please, somebody close the window behind us. I don't know what's going on, but something with the wind. I'm kidding, of course. We're in the gym, people. There is no wind. Yes, it is a foul. And it's not on the arm. It's on the body. We'll see it right here. The left hand right here. Well, you can't see it, but he was uh, grabbing a bit on the back. I had a better angle than you on that one. So, bonus. Hungary. With its first opportunity to take the lead. And the lead they took. Great take. Oh, that would have been nice for the highlight tape. Unfortunately for Cutlups. No highlight. And a new foul. Yep, yep. Can't be talking to the ref, at, acting like you didn't. Can't hold on to the jersey. And second of all, there was going to be a foul right after as he was holding on to the hips. Now both teams need to be careful. Keep your hands to yourself. Can't be giving too many freebies to your opponent. 10-7. Hungary up three. Good take, smart play, size advantage, being in the bonus. Hungary cannot foul. That's gonna be an offensive foul. Yes, sir, offensive foul. Good defense. Are we gonna see a momentum switch? Cutlups. Critical turnover right now with the opportunity for mismatch. Varka try to sneak it quick on the backcourt. And Petersons did not identify the size advantage. Fortunately for Latvia. Pitapnik still managed to capitalize. Great take from Varga. No one can touch anyone anymore. So both teams understanding that they're aggressive, they go to the cup. Oh yes, slicer, fighting, and the ball, giving to Latvia, rightfully so. Eleven nine. That would be a big win for Hungary to start its pool play. In case you didn't know, 
which you probably didn't in play in the men's bracket. You also have Azerbaijan and we see the ooh, the hezzy, the cross, ooh, behind the back. So, Latvia with the ball. Three minutes, 20. That would be a big hit, and it is. The Suns, ice in its veins, and Nemet. I don't know what's going on with that left, left side, 45, but everybody's airballing everything. And now Nemet paying the price of dropping a, Dropping too low. Huge bucket. With the Suns. Killips. Sweet finish. Gotta like the composure. Katlaps. And Lavia. Back up one. And Nimit. Out of control. Please wipe the floor, people. Don't want it to be slippery out there. Thought about it. He's not gonna think about it twice. The fake, the kick out. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Cutlaps giving Latvia a three point lead once again. Nemet attacking the closeout. Good patience. 14 12. Now things are getting interesting. Slides up. Nemet trying to use speed. Slides up. Great execution. Varga took it all the way down to 12 seconds. And Kotlips telling Nemet, you're too little for me, buddy. Right at the cup. And Varga. Late call, but right call. Yep, the hip. Right on the hip. Putting Varga off balance. Varga now with two huge free throws. To tie the game up to 15 and also keep things crispy. Ooh. But in Varga, <laughs> and you can see the stress. It's okay, lady. I understand how you feel. 15-14. Good defense. The body contest. Clean and legal. And now, Kislaisa. Fading away. Nice little hook shot. Varga with the deflection. Four seconds left. Pittsons. 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 Ah, oh, this man is a cold blooded killer. Are you kidding me? 17-15. Bang, bang, boogie, woogie. And you got to like Mizaros saying, hey, this game is not over. He turns the line with his foot. Petersons with the turnover. Score is 17-16. Look at this one again. Oh, yeah. 
So it's not 15-15, it's 17-16 with more than a minute. Great two-man execution, but you got to finish this. Kislaiza spoiling dessert at a critical moment. And Cutlass saying, look, man, I'm not going to miss that. Mizaros, strong take. I got to see that one again. To me, Mezaros is the one just reducing contact every time. A bit generous, and that's double bonus. Double bonus means that after free throws, Hungary retains possession of the ball. Oh, for two. Oh, my, my. The missed layup. The two free throws missed. Will Hungary regret those missed opportunities? Close out. Killups. Killups. Killups missing. Didn't touch the rim. And it's a 12 second shot clock violation. The steal. Oh, this game is crazier than crazy. 1918. Mizeros. ISO mode activated. Mizeros. Mizeros. Going to the left. He kicks it out. Nemet using speed, but it's 12 second shot clock violation. And Latvia is going to win this game. Oh, wow. Nemet did not recognize the shot clock. And this is how you win or lose a 3x3 game, people. Details. Details. Two missed free throws, one missed layup. So I'm pretty sure Hungary is going to foul. But the foul came late though. With three seconds, you got some hope to uh, get a rebound and throw it. But with one, this is beef jerky. See, that's the big difference. With three seconds, you're alive. 1.1, not enough time. That's the lack of experience right there. And sure enough, Peterson's smart. Misses on purpose, so the clock triggers. Well, woo! Latvian Hungary gave us the first thriller of the day. Looking forward to see what's going to happen in Pool A in the men's bracket. Oh, that's going to be coming up in a few games. Anyhow, let's go now. To pull C in the women's bracket. It's gonna be the ladies of Latvia. Probably inspired by what the boys just did. And they will face up. Croatia. Don't wanna miss that. Coming right up.
There it is. Anyhow, let's go back to the ladies, ladies. Latvia and Croatia will battle. First game of Pool C. Those ladies are joined with Azerbaijan. And we'll see, catch, shoot, bucket. Uh-oh, okay. Latvia starting off hot. And the answer right away, Stankovic with the mid-range bucket. Oh, back-to-back -back buckets for Bertina. And Stankovic, nice little dump off, but she stepped on the line, unfortunately. Rukicic. size also oh, actually it was a foul sorry I thought it was a line violation six seconds left on the shot clock Stankovic needs to get up she does. And that's going to be a foul. Brzezina with the rebound. First foul against Croatia. Oh, give and go, but not enough room to operate. Strong take, no call on the play, the offensive board, not enough lift. It's 2-1, both teams starting off aggressive as you can expect them to do it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yelena Brickstitch. Rikicic saying, no, I do not want you to get into the paint. This is my kingdom. So, the free throw coming up for Croatia. Second team foul against Latvia. And it's going to be Stankovic. Giving a 2-2 two, two game. The spin action, no friendly touch on the rim. Ball gets out. Both teams going for individual solutions. Don't really see a 
much collaborations out of a one or two handoffs here and there, but both teams just going on one-on-one -on -one play. Not the best way to go. There we go, first, there you go, a little bit of ball movement, and you see, much better things happen when you get the ball moving, because now the defense cannot stop it as easily. Playing defense off closeouts is not playing defense off one-on-one. -on -one. The closeout is always much harder to contain. Putting a little bit too much on it, Benzina. She's playing great defense until she uh, took it a little bit too far with the pressure. And the foul. That's it. Couldn't stay in front long enough. Good take by Hanna Budimir. Budimir giving Croatia 3 2 lead. Rents it. Saw daylight, but did not elevate high enough. That's an air ball. Latvia with 14 fouls. To less than three minutes. Oh, big bucket. It's up. Stankovic. Helping on the drive. Gave a wide open look to Brense. Now, the offensive board, another open look. But Latvia can't capitalize on those. And Croatia takes a three-point lead. Five-three. Not playing on that. Thirteen foul against Croatia. First TV timeout. So first observation after a little bit, a little bit over three and a half minutes in this game, both teams are taking what I call the shortcut. The shortcut of, hey, we're playing 3x3, we got more room to operate, so how about I go and try it myself? How about I go and try to use that one-on-one? -on -one? I don't mind the one-on-one -on -one thought process, but it's the way you bring the one-on-one -on -one that actually matters in Drake Street. If you start off with one-on-one -on -one early, right off the bat, defense is ready. As you know, the physicality of the sport allows for more contact, so it's much harder to take the advantage. But if you get it off closeouts, you move around, you pass, you do all these things. Great defense by Croatia, the travel. Anja Brense. But if you move it around and then, after collaborating, you play one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to have a much different result. Great take. Budimir. And Latvia turns it over too easily. There you go. The drive, backdoor cut. Four-point lead. Croatia starts feeling a bit better and the block. Get out of here, ladies and Tina. Brzezina. Ladja needs some of that. Yes, moving screen. 
Could have been prevented by uh, sending up a bit more properly. The angle was well thought of, but she stayed too far back. So four point lead. Lajia still in this game. And this is a foul. Good take. Zeltina staying with it. 15 foul against Croatia. And one free throw coming up. Stankovic trying to get out, the, get, come off the court. Offensive board. Zeltina left by herself. She didn't make it with the free throw, but she made it with the layup. And a brick. Murugic giving Latvia an opportunity to close down the gap. Oh, yeah. Mia Brentse. Bring in Latvia within one. Good contest, good defense, but better offense. Good touch. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see that again. Yeah, a little bit too much dancing on this. A little bit too much. Not too, too much, but a little bit. Good hands, ball deflected. was not expecting that. Branson, after being short of first few tries, she's finding her range. Zeltina, triple cross, taking it to the baseline. Great finish. Latvia, up one. Nine up. The ladies waking up. Branson thought about it. Faking everybody out, finishing with the left. All right, Ania. All right, then. We see you. Ooh. Rosina. Trying to follow the lead of Rense. Timeout asked by Croatia, I believe. People need to rest up a little. This game of 3x3. Will build acid lack. At lactic acid in your thighs, in your legs, and everywhere. As we're seeing the highlights of uh, Ania Brentse fighting her groove at the best time. Right under the arm of Brikicic. Brikicic gets her own offensive board. Keeps Croatia within one. Zina. Difficult take. There's going to be two seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, 
Oh, right at the buzzer. Ooh, well thought of though. Eleven ten. Good contest. There you go, a little bit of ball movement, executing off the check ball. No call. Defensive board. Vincent could not do anything about that. Budimir, too tall. And now, momentum shift, potentially. Great lob pass, better finish. Croatia taking the lead back. I like the games we've been having so far, I'm not gonna lie. Croatia up two, under two minutes. Ooh wee, sweet spin move. Everybody got faked out, maybe she was gonna hit it out. And the deflection, ball stays in possession of Croatia. There you go, you see, first fake handoff. Turn around, let, let everybody in the dust. Thirteen, twelve. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Once again, can't have any better clock management than that. It's like beating the buzzer's buzzer. Vence. All right, Ania really came alive in this game. She's fronting now. Long pass. The foul. Fifteen foul only against Latvia. It's going to be one free throw. Croatia cannot afford to foul. They are now in the bonus. Two point lead. Brance. Croatia with a key defensive stop right now. We are under a minute. As of right now. And the foul! Ania Brense, too late on the contest. 16 foul against Latvia, only one free throw, but an opportunity to take a four point lead with 55 seconds left.
Stanke bit is niet. Latvia wants to put up some points for sure. Brezina, long range, missing. Defensive board, ball did not touch the rim. It's going to be a 12 second shot clock violation. So, Croatia will come out victorious in game one of Pool C action in the women's bracket. Good job from the ladies of Croatia. Latvia, not dead in this group. Remember, it's the first two teams that qualify for game two of competition, for day two of competition and the quarterfinals. So we'll see. Coming up next for our first short break of the day, full C in the men's bracket. It's gonna be Slovenia going against Bulgaria. It's coming right up.
Okay, Pool C game one in the men's bracket. It's going to be Slovenia and Bulgaria. So let's see, because we have some size with both these teams. We got length, we got athleticism. Two men action. Going to the cup, good composure. It's going to be contact on the arm. Not contested by Ivicic. And it's going to be one free throw for Rachev. Rachev putting Bulgaria on the board first. One zip. And a wide open look, paid in full. Dravkovic, even the 2-1 lead to Slovenia. You better make sure he does not heat up. Ralchev trying to answer right before the end of the shot clock. Offensive board, strong take, buddy. Vasilev, letting everybody know if I'm close, I'm gonna finish this. Vasilev saying, I can do it inside, outside. Yes, close to the cup, but I can shoot it too. 4-2. Cannot dribble again. Double black door action. You gotta like the defensive focus right now, Bulgaria. It's not automatically the team that you would expect to come out on top of Pool C, especially having Slovenia in the group. You also have Sweden in Pool C. Composure, four seconds. He's going for another one. No. Open look, right off transition, bang, bang. Can the Vivicic open for a piece? I like the pace of this game between those two teams. Good defense, but better offense. Showing out early in this game. Christian Vasilev. Second team foul against Bulgaria. Ball almost turned over. That would hurt right before the expiration of the shot clock, and it does hurt. Oh, yes. Slovenia shooting some sweet shooting. And Dimitrov stepped out of bounds right before. He managed to deflect the ball off the leg of his opponent. That's going to be a warning. Unfortunately, Christian Vasilev did not give enough time for his opponent to control the ball before deflecting it. That's what you call a heat check. Defense, great defense. Contesting it all. Tarachev and the take baseline. From Dimitrov, six apiece. The thought process right here was the right run from Zdraskovic, but the execution of the pass was not. Oh, yes. 
Withstanding contact, strong take, buddy. And another strong take to respond to this. I like this game. Dimitrov with the first one. Zdraskovic with the second. Seven apiece. Another long bomb. No. So, Bulgaria with the ball. Two men action at the top. Defense is tough. And he has the ball in his hands. I like the unselfishness. Unfortunately, the clock management was not aware enough. Seven apiece. We got a nice ball game on our hands. We got the outside shooting of uh, Slovenia. The individual talent and size of Bulgaria. And if you want to talk about size, I'm seeing the ladies of Netherlands and Bulgaria warm up on my right hand side you can't see it because it's uh, on the other side of the court and there is size on the Bulgarian roster I'll tell you that but you'll see that that's gonna be a surprise Please. Putting Slovenia up one. Active hands on the other side. And Fleece trying to double up. And he's off balance. Fading away for the two in the corner. Can't get that to go. Oh, yes. Dicing, but you got to finish. Gets his own offensive board. And he's spoiling dessert. Oh, that's a tough one for him. Dimitrov, the lefty, crafty. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got to figure it out. I got to calm down when there's this break. I got to take a few shots on that left side corner because that's like the fifth air ball that we have in four games. What's going on, my guys? What's going on, my girls? Come on now. We're, lit. We're shooting in the in a close gym. Can't tell me you got the win. Oh, spin cycle. But no. So one free throw. Zlatkovic knocks it down, and Slovenia is up two. Flat on the shot. Oh, rejection. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Gordjic got to meet the man we call Yilov. And Yilov told him, nice to meet you. Take the ball over there. Anytime you play a Slovenian team, it doesn't matter who it is. The danger coming from the outside is always present. That just never changes. It is the way it is. That's going to be a line violation. at the top. It's going to be an offensive foul on Ivicic. Gave a little bit too much. Nice 
Nice touch right through the middle. You gotta like that kid. But you gotta love the ability of Slovenia to just respond right away. Dimitrov. Uh, Vasilev, sorry. Vasilev trying to go for individual solutions, but this man on the other hand, Draskovic, will just give you trouble. Open look. Another open look. Fleece. The hang. 14 foul against Bulgaria, but that's going to be one shot. So the lead is four for Slovenia. It's going to be a late call, but a good call. One shot coming up for Ivan Dimitrov. Slovenia strongly benefiting from the aggressiveness of Zdraskovic and the sweet shooting of the team overall. Defensive board, Balchev keeping the ball alive. Dimitrov rushing a bit and this man, oh my goodness, Leon Zdraskovic. Putting Slovenia on his broad shoulders. That's a six point lead. That would hurt. Now driving, kicking, fleece, taking his time, finishing now. 16 9. Nothing you can do about that. So Bulgaria out of the timeout in desperate need of points for multiple reasons. First of all, win or lose, you want to put up points on the scoreboard. And that would be a good way to do it. Ivan Dimitrov with the long range two. 16-11, but you got to stop this man right here. Straskovic, Straskovic. Defensive board. Draskovic, patient, giving it up. Dimitrov thought about it, turnover, a bit silly. Slovenia. Trying to finish this game as early as they can. Bulgaria now going for individual solutions. And when that does not work out, that just sets your whole team up for failure. Still a lot of time for Bulgaria to make up the gap, but if turnovers keep piling up, there is no chance. Valchev, great take. 
16-12. Both teams still have two fouls to give before sending the opponent to the bonus. Good defense, but that's unfortunately an easy call to make with only two seconds left on the shot clock. He did the best part when he closed out, but then he stayed too close. Law pass. Great look. Fleece. Giving it up. Gurbers. Gurzdilsh. Sorry. Gurzdilsh. <laughs> I'll try my best, baby. I'll try my best. I need to get an A for effort. So 17 13. Bulgaria. Still in the position to set itself up. For a good game. Five team fouls apiece. Four point game if with two minutes left. Two minutes is a very long time in 3x3. Oh. I thought there was going to be a whistle there. No whistle. Bad pass. Zdraskovic. Don't really get the frustration. Whenever you want to feed the ball in the post, you just got to relocate a bit more towards the corner. Get the better angle so you make sure that you, the pass gets where you want it to get. Offensive foul call. Uncontested. Vasilev. The thought process was interesting. Once again, details will get you in trouble. You can put your hands in the back of the defender, and more important, you cannot keep moving forward. That's travel. And I think that Fleece is like borderline, uh, not Fleece, sorry. Yes, Fleece, actually, I was talking about Fleece. Fleece was borderline traveling every time he was going, and Ivicic is the one getting called, getting called for the travel on that one. So, four-point lead. Great rebound. Ivan Dimitrov pulling Bulgaria within three, but Bulgaria cannot afford to foul any longer. Great contest, no foul call. Oh, that would be huge. He misses. Fancy board. Dimitrov gives it up. Silev turns around. Sweet touch. I like the skill set from this kid. No foul to be given. Great composure. The footwork, please. Just getting away from the defense. Three-point game, 18-15, 45 seconds left. Enough time for Bulgaria to get a bucket, a stop, and maybe another bucket. We'll see the long pass, but he stepped out of bounds. Ooh. With both feet. Both. It's not even one. It's both. Kevin Durant style. Sorry, buddy. Zdraskovic, Zdraskovic. Man of the game for Slovenia. 
Strong take. Three point game, but the clock is running out for Bulgaria. And this man is a menace. Late call. Ooh. Let's see that again. Ooh. No comment. So, two free throws coming up. And Zdraskovic can't finish it up. And he probably, more than likely, do just that. Let his team in scoring in this game. Quite obviously, see you later, Alligator. 21-16, Slovenia coming out on top, but Bulgaria putting everybody on notice. Sweden is warned. It's gonna be a battle to come out of Pool C for the quarterfinals. So we're gonna have a short break, about 10 minutes, and we're coming right back with the ladies again, Netherlands and Bulgaria in Pool B for the first game of pool action for both teams. See you in just a few minutes.
All right, Pool B in the women's bracket. It's gonna be Netherlands and Bulgaria. There is size, I told you, in the paint. You need to watch out. Lean Peters. And Ivana Slavova. Let's see what's gonna be, what could uh, present itself as one of the biggest matchup we'll see in the paint all tournament long. And Peters gets the first bucket for Team Netherlands. And the turnover rushing a little bit. Dragoeva didn't have a bad idea, but the execution was poor. Now Linga kicks it out. Netherlands attacks, gaps with a vengeance. And the mid-range pull-up looking sweet. Kiona Dustra. Dustra going back to back mid-range buckets. Kopi paced it. Looking good. Three zip. Bulgaria in trouble early. Defense, Linga. Peter seeing daylight, taking her sweet time, but the ball rims out. Linga hustles, gives the ball back up to Peters. Peters taking her time, kicks it out. That was a bit less comfortable with the long range than the mid. Linga left wide open. Netherlands red hot early. She did not clear. She did not realize that's going to be a whistle. Got to pay attention in 3x3 to make sure that you get your feet behind that line. Borisova did not do that. So five zip, ball Netherlands. Things are looking complicated early in this game it's gonna be white ball guys it's gonna be white ball guys it's a clear zone violation come on of course white ball so Netherlands going back at it that was up over two Draws a foul. Good hands, Peters being harassed, Bulgaria earning possession back. Netherlands plays solid defense, making life hard. We still did not see any substitution. For Team Bulgaria, even Slavova still did not get in. Is she injured? That's an information that I do not have. Good take and one. Going strong. Borisova. Withstanding contact. Staying with it. Putting Bulgaria on the scoreboard with a chance for another one. There you go, 5-2.
Ooh, the slip. She forgot her luggage on that trip, and Linga left wide open. That's a foul. You gotta give space for the shooter to land. The referees need to protect shooters. I'm all for it. So two free throws coming up. Goes in. There's a lot of holding right there. There's a lot of holding right there. Captain could have been called for the foul right away. Holding jerseys quite a lot on that play. That was a nice take. And there you go. Here she is. Took a while for her to see, for us to see her, but Ivana Slavova is on the court. TV timeout. Strong take. Laustra earning herself a free throw. Netherlands already leading by five. Nice take. Bulgaria coming alive a little bit, but the answer right back. Ricky Captain. Oh, yes. 10 3. The shot, the offensive board, getting it right back, putting it in. 10 4. 11 4. Every time Bulgaria is getting a bucket, Netherlands answers. Strong, very strong. Good contest by Peters. And Peters for the double pain. No. Defense. But Bulgaria, they keep fighting, they keep trying. The kick out, extra pass, Peters attacking the closeout, going all the way, but the ball gets deflected. Three seconds left on the shot clock.
top of the key. That was a good look. You got to take it, but now wide open in return. Could have been kind of a lucky assist. Hitting the backboard the way he did and falling in the hands of Linga, but strong take. Borisova getting called for tempering in the half circle. But I like the grit from uh, Borisova. She's been fighting since the very beginning of this game. 12-5. Netherlands been just shooting the lights out. Step back city. Linger, the hustle. Ball movement from Netherlands. There you go. Great execution until the very second where Delstra didn't put enough. Peters was wide open. Good ball movement from Bulgaria. It was a good shot. Linger. Aggressive. This is the way it's supposed to be. Give people open shots. You gotta expect for them to take them, especially when you play against the Netherlands. Flash, six seconds. Whenever you pass the ball, you gotta lead forward. You can't pass it backwards. And the travel from Peters. TV timeout. We're under four minutes left in this game. in Dostra. Getting closer, shot by shot, and Peters getting the offensive board. Draws the foul. Peters knocks it down, seven point lead. For Netherlands, making it look easy when it really isn't. Good pass, great back door. You watch the score and you're looking at it like, oh, straight D, the block. 
You look at the score and you may think like, oh, it's an easy game. It's not. Netherlands is playing very tough, but Bulgaria keeps fighting and keeps coming. 13-8. And the, the biggest mistake Netherlands could be making right now would be to think that a seven-point lead puts them in, in a safe spot, especially with more than three minutes left in this game. Three, three things can turn quick. Defensive board, fortunately, the box out lacking. Dragoeva watching the ball. Tough finish. Borisova. She's making it hard and Bulgaria. Only down five. Mid range. Good box on Balinga. Foul, easy, too much hugging. Netherlands still has one foul to give. I like what I'm seeing from both teams, to be uh, quite honest with you. Netherlands, clearly one of the favorites in, the, in this tournament. But Bulgaria, showing good things all around. Last foul that the Netherlands could afford to give for only one free throw. Secure the ball and the ball was in the hands of Dalstra before the shot. So both teams in the bonus. A minute 42 seconds. Bulgaria with the ball. Defensive foul. Gotta be set properly. Manolova. That's a foul. Two free throws coming up. Opportunity for Bulgaria to make her last minute 30 seconds interesting. Transition, the backdoor pass, the ball saved. That would be huge, but the ball does not touch the rim, unfortunately, for Bulgaria. But it, Borisova can't give a chance. Dragoeva to get her hands on it. Five-point lead. Bulgaria still fighting. Open look. 
Fortunately for Netherlands, Kapsian can't finish it. Ball deflected, three seconds left on the shot clock. So less than a minute left in this game. Netherlands up five in control. Eight seconds. Double cross. Nice touch. Off the floater. Up six, Bulgaria needs points, because you never know. Ball clear, no foul, good deny. And now Netherlands, don't need to rush. Peters gets her cookies taken. Rushing in a place she had no place to go. And now it's a foul. Two free throws coming up, Bulgaria. With an opportunity to close down the gap to four points, but unfortunately not enough time to hope for a better outcome. In the Pool B, in the women's bracket, you got Netherlands, Bulgaria, and Hungary. So you never know, Hungary could potentially beat Netherlands, so Bulgaria better make sure that they get as many points as they can. One for two. Not the best, but it still will do. One last shot. Got to turn around, she does. 17-12, Netherlands winner. One foot and three toes in the quarterfinals. But we got to see how things play out in Pool B in the women's bracket before we say anything else. Coming up next, Pool B in the men's bracket this time around. Romania will face Croatia.
Will be in the men's bracket, Romania and Croatia will battle in the first game for both teams. Let's see what Romania got. They got size though. They got length and that length speaks on the first possession right away. The Lao with the first free throw. by Romania starting off hot with energy with willingness to make efforts good hands had the ball not been deflected that would have been a layup right there because Mlatak was naked and right away Romania pushing but the answer, Bukic, seeing daylight, he elevates, but allow missing though, 2-1, Bukic with the ball, a lot of hands on him, stay strong with it, he does not care, all he wants is to get that bucket right on you, and Croatia, who's standing storm early now has an opportunity to go up one but dessert spoiled close to the cup and Romania gets it back that's gonna be an end one no but that's gonna be one shot though Second team foul against Croatia. Second free throw in favor of Romania. 3 2. The defensive pressure, the intensity. Three apiece, Croatia. Just keeps coming back. Open look. Gillian. The Lao thought about it. Give it in. Julian, good composure. Spinning one, spinning twice. But Laudo tempering with the half circle. It's going to be the first warning against Romania. Rukic. The strong take. You gotta love that. Like Kupapa. But the answer right away, Croatia just keeps coming in the block. Defensive board, Dolia. Keeping Romania up one. Bricic turning it over. Oh, bang, bang. Like Kupapa. Giving Romania a three point lead, but forget about that. It's only gonna be two. Close out aggressiveness. Working wonders for Romania right now. Romania with the ball at the top. 13 foul against Croatia. 
fourth team foul now. Romania just going after them, attacking gaps. That's a foul, no questions asked. Should have been called way earlier. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, come on, people. <laughs> Should have been called way earlier. So. Fifteen foul against Croatia. Nice. Patience, but spoiling dessert. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on now. And Julian with a no look. Then he's bundled out. Wasting a clean opportunity to bump the lead up to three. And now Croatia has the ball to reduce that lead. Great hands once again. Ilya saved the day. That would have been another layup. Boba, no. For first team foul against Romania. First team timeout. We got a nice game on our hands. I love the the intensity brought out by Romania to start off the game, but I also really appreciate. Croatia's ability to just withstand that intensity and respond, find answers. So, of course, five team fouls early. It's not the best, especially when Romania only has one. But you have a sense that Croatia has the means to respond offensively. And if they clean it up a little bit defensively, they manage to stay in front. While keeping their hands to themselves, there's an opportunity for some. Oh, nice length, but allow. Blocks it. Ball stays in possession of Croatia, though. Cleaner. As clean as it gets. Cleaner than clean. Uh oh. In and out, cross the bump. It's going to be a shot. Pretty much what I was telling you guys. It's, it's an obvious feeling with what you see from Team Croatia that Romania needs to keep pushing on that gas pedal. Nine seven. Latak with the free throw. Lajko Popa, the speed and the sweet touch off the backboard. Kick out pass, wide open, ball rims out though. Lajko Popa stays in the air. He hangs, he was thinking about passing it, you know that. Looked at one pass, two pass, three pass, can't pass. Okay, I'll use the glass then. 10 7, Romania, up three. Look at this. What, 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 what? Nope, okay, I can't. I shoot. This time around, no hands and easy lay. Chupopa, no. That's a travel. Pivot foot slipping and sliding. That's going to be a travel. Nicobando is looking for the handoff. Mlatak went for the back door. 10-8. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Ilya turns around, and that's going to be a foul on... 
Croatia, 16 foul. Bonus now for Romania. Every time the whistle will be blown in their favor. Popa. Trying to draw the foul. He's not going to get any. And that's a great take. Finishing left. Tina. Bringing Croatia within one. That was a good move. The finish. Finishing touch was a, slacking a little bit of elevation. Ball went too flat. 13 foul against Romania. And now Croatia with the opportunity to tie, or even better. Get up one. Cicina stops on the time, turns around. Great move. Great kick out, Angelian. That's a good shot. Great flash, for short. 10 piece, Magical Popa, ISO mode activated. And he's gonna travel. <laughs> Romania now settling for individual solutions right off the bat. I understand the bonus is on the spending over the heads of uh, Croatian players, but Croatia figuring it out. It's a uh, clean and legal play on the rim. 11-10. But now, hey! Hit on the head. 14 foul against Romania, one free throw coming. Yep, no contest. Absolutely no contest. Great call as the block, the intervention on the ball was clean, but can't hit the offensive player on the side of the head like that, people. You cannot. It's forbidden by law. The basketball law. So Mlatak knocks it down. 11 apiece. A nice game on our hands. Long range. Ball rims out. Good composure. Bricic and Romania did not clear the zone properly. Got to pay attention. That's a detail that can kill you in 3x3. Especially when you score right off the bat. And you're thinking like, oh, man. Open two. Not for you. Rokochtina. Off the mark. The loud. Near the rebound. Machkopopa. Ends it off. Give and go. I love that. Great play. But now the transition defense. Paid in full. If you fall asleep or you're not focused, you'll pay the price for it. All this game is going on a pace that I absolutely enjoy commentating. Players just taking over now. Oh, he's rushing. He's rushing. But Lau rushing. And now another opportunity for transition. Not paid in full. Luckily for Romania. But Lau trying to find a... A quick fix for a bigger problem. When you face adversity, don't go for individual solutions. You got to build the comeback or build a strong momentum as a team. That's the way you got to play that game. So, 15-13, 15 foul against Romania ball in possession of Croatia.
fake back pick. Benalau was not buying any of it. Great read defensively, the block. Chichina gets it off in time before the end of the 12 second shot clock. Lao. And Lata. With the opportunity to hurt Lachikupapa. The answer, huge bucket, 15 apiece. Don't forget, Croatia cannot afford to foul. Romania has one more foul to give. Mlata settling. Now, Lachikupapa thought about it. Using speed with the left, with the left, finishing. Romania up one. Mlata. Oh, yes, the fake. That was beautiful. If only he'd been able to finish that play. Whoop. I know that fake. I know that fake real well. Look back. 2017 World Cup in Nantes. That's all I must say. Ah, <laughs> oh, baby. Been in this game for a long time. Anyhow, Mlata with the important free throw right there. Misses it. Get the offensive board. Bricic kicks it out. Three seconds. Fading. Knocking it down. 16 apiece. Badalao finds the way to the cup. 17-16. 16, 16. 16 fouls apiece. No one can afford to touch nobody. Bricic ties it up. Don't look for the ball, buddy. Leon, the end one. The end one. Not connected with Bluetooth. Nico Bando did not hear it. If you get beat, you get beat, buddy. A three point play at this time of the game is literally. Meaning suicide. Second two point lead. Potential answer was a good play off the free throw. Great take. Tumlatuk pulls Croatia within one. But allow spin cycle. Put Bandov in the blender. Take to your timeout. 2018 Romania, one point away from a big statement win. Look at this cross one time, spin it. Finishing strong, knowing she can't be denied. Trying to use the length. Mlata. Oh, my, 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 my. That would be huge. Defensive board. 
Mlacak skill. Brčić. Mlacak contested. Great defense and the hustle. Brčić. Going to the cup, finishing 2019. Croatia needs to stop. That's a foul. That's a foul. Don't look at the ref, buddy. You can't be holding on to the jersey. It's so obvious. Such an easy call. That gives the game away at this point, unfortunately, for Croatia. Two free throws coming up from Lajčko Popa. Love to see the replay after this, please. Let's uh, give an opportunity. Lajko Popa, that was an ugly miss, buddy. Croatia, potentially with a chance, we don't know. It's gonna be the same one on the second. Oh, he misses both! And now, Lajak with their life. Gets blocked, and another foul. Croatia just beating itself over the head. Great, huge defensive play by Angelian Manlao. Two shots this time around. Don't believe they're going to go off for two. But who knows? Who knows? That would be the craziest game of the day. Both teams can beat themselves over the heads if they lose, I'll tell you that. There you go. Romania winning. A nail biter. Great Britain is worn. Both Croatia and Romania came out. Hustling, competing. It's a very interesting game. Coming up next. In the women's bracket, Pool D, Romania against Slovenia. Coming right up.
Okay, pull the game one for both Romania and Slovenia. Let's see what you got, ladies. Let's have a great game. A lot of movement, a lot of collaborations. This is what I like, and that gives an open shot that could have dropped in. Basketball guard said no. Thought about it. The defense from Romania. She threw up a prayer. Prayer that was not answered. Good events. With the contested shot, Romania gets possession back of the ball. The ladies of Romania would obviously want to follow in the footsteps of the boys. Came out victorious in the tough battle in game one. And great defense. Both teams just locking up early. Post up. Can't finish it. Was it in? Ball at the top. Tanase left wide open. Bang, bang. If you want to leave the shooter by herself, then you pay the price for it. That's the way it is. That could have been a moving screen, and that's clearly a foul. Okay, one missed call. No consequence, though. No consequence. Slovenia on the board. Ball given inside. Four seconds. Up and under. And a foul from Rada Petrovic. Great two lady action right there. Sweet time, sweeter finish. Zayn with the 3 1 lead for Romania. No lucky break. In a great seal position. With it in the mess. Making her presence felt in the paint. Drawing another foul. She had the flash, didn't read it. But her teammate was trying to communicate to her. It's a new, but his communication. Six seconds. Good defense by Romania, making everything hard. Seal position. And turning around using the glass. It's a new, giving Romania a three point lead early. Wide open. Shot is short. And that's a foul. Pressuring, over pressuring. Lifting the mess. Coming up next in the boys' bracket, it's going to be Serbia against Denmark. Warming up on the right-hand side. It's not a bad shot. And Romania in control of this game so far. Give and go. Oh. The foul call. 
like it. Good bounce pass. Couldn't finish, obviously. She'll have a chance at the line. Zane with the potential four point lead for Romania. Less than three minutes played in this game. She misses it. Foul drawn. Good take. And like a bet. TV timeout. So, Grimitz will have the opportunity to take, to take a little breather before going to the line. Free throw missed. She stepped on the line. Lara Petrovic. Great offensive rebound presence. Zane turns around with short though. Up three. Romania. Petrovic. Great touch to finish. 4 2. Good fight for position. And the Grebens making sure that nothing was easy for Zane to catch. to free up the shooter. Simple execution. But Horvat ties the game to four P. Slovenia alive. And the steal. Ribbons. What you call it? Team heat check. They just knock one down. Look to knock another one. Slovenia. Sweet take of the cross, getting right to the middle. Long pass. Opportunity inside, turning around, but missing the, missing the finishing touch. Tanil. And now Slovenia. Bang, bang, bug it, work it. Get giving a three point lead. And she deflects. Romania having a hard time to pass the ball properly. The law pass opportunities are there, but the execution is not. Just like that, three point lead for Slovenia. Holding on Zane, obvious call. Fourth team foul against Slovenia. <laughs> She's holding me. Not sure about that one. <laughs> Zane, 
bit frustrated that she did not get the call. And she fouls. Thirteen foul against Romania. Petrovic spin gets her own rebound. Should have probably tried to go again by herself. Insane defensive board. The ball literally dropped in her lap. Nice drive off the closeout. But the access was denied. Tanase said, hey, look, go get that ball over there if you want. One second left on the possession. Good job defensively, and Zane turning around. Great finish. Romania having momentum back a little bit. Late foul call. One free throw coming up. A generous one. But it happens so seven to P no eight eight six eight six to not say left wide open that was a good look Montana the cross off balance not finishing and now seeing daylight by herself top of the key big hit what was in giving Slovenia a four-point lead She's much better with this one. The shooting, not her forte. Inside play. Oh, yeah. Gribbets. Spinning. After dicing. 11 8. 
And Zane, once again, just too much to handle on the seal positions for Slovenia. And going for the steal, not the best idea. Nemes giving the lane wide open, and Zane just going right back at it. Romania can thank her for keeping them in the game. Going under. Oh! Bang, bang! Lena Grimitz. Zane just asking for a sub. She is cooked. She's working really hard. Slovenia with the big two point shots that first enabled them to take the lead in this game, and second enabled them to recover and keep the lead. Romania, great execution of the timeout. Another chance at it. And that's usually what happens when the shooter gets two opportunities in a row. 16 foul now on Romania, both teams in the bonus. Montiano had the opportunity to uh, figure out the trajectory and everything, made the little adjustment, bang, bang. So now it's only a two point game. And that's the turnover. No team can afford to foul, remember. And Zane knows it. The kick out to Nase. And to Nase fouling. Not the right decision. It already was a tough shot. Why go for the ball being in the bonus? That's the inexperience right there. You're gonna tell me if she misses both, then it's a good foul. Okay, you never know though. It's not in your hands. And don't forget that also brings you closer to double bonus. And if you need a reminder, double bonus means not only you give two free throws to the opponent, but they keep the ball after the free throw shooting. Always something to keep in mind. So one for two. Another turnover. Two lady action, just too obvious, and a huge hit. Linda Grebens putting Slovenia on her shoulders. Double foul called in the post. Zane fighting, but the great box out. What was in? In the foul. Romania just spoiling all the efforts given until now. Unnecessary foul so far away from the basket. So now two free throws and Slovenia can literally just run away with the win if free throws are being knocked down. And after missing the first one, two for two now for Franja Horba. And now free th three for three. Seven point lead. Slovenia just needs to play solid. 
with even now an opportunity to close it out. And that's going to be a foul once again. We'll see it right here. There you go. There you go. Put your hands on the offensive player when you're in the bonus. So double bonus opportunity for Franja Orbat to knock both down and finish it right away or to even have the ball after, I guess. She wants to make it last forever. I would too when I'm winning. With now an eight point lead with under 50 seconds to go. I would tell my players to go for 22 right now, would you? <laughs> so, Petrovic, floater action of the mark, mid range, short. So, Romania with an opportunity to put up some points because you never know, a three-team tie is possible. Petrovic with the rebound. Lob action, no look. Beautiful Slovenia winning 21-12. No questions asked. Coming right up, last game of the morning session. It's going to be Serbia against Denmark in Pool D.
All right, last game of the morning session. It's gonna be in the men's bracket in Denmark. Great take, aggressive, right off the bat from Peterson. Will Serbia be tested in its first matchup? Good hands, active hands, Christensen. Going and drawing the foul. Shaput. You should be familiar with that name, Shaput. You think of Serbia. Good defense. But staying with the play, the offensive board had another opportunity. Unfortunately for Serbia, Tatic can't finish. And this man copy pasting his aggressiveness on all spots on the court. You gotta appreciate it. 2 1. You know, against Serbia, the two man game will definitely get you in tough positions. You gotta be focused. They'll come back, they'll dive, they'll find the angles. Shaput. Great look. Right off the catch on his own offensive rebound. The dime. That's gonna be. Turnover, stepping out of bounds. Raymond Pedersen. So we're making sure that we wipe the floor clean as we should. We don't want things to be dangerous for players. Making him jump. Great fake. Shput. Missing the free throw. Defensive board though. Savic gets the ball back. Can't finish once. Will go at it twice. Step back city. Good contest though. Defense from Dudovic and Shaput. Smart. Fakes up, pass up. That's going to be a travel. Serbia leading 4 2 now. Great fake action. Everything was triggered by the movement of the Durovic. And then Tatic can simply just benefit from it. Reading the game. Great basketball IQ. Serbia leading 5 2. Tatic throwing up a prayer. A prayer not answered. 12 second shot clock violation and the ball given back to Denmark. Shapu taking the time to read. Gets his cookies taken. Great hustle. Double pain with the two. No. Good patience. Sharing is caring. And a good pass for Peterson. A little bit too eager to steal the ball right after. Gets called for the foul. Reaching foul. Shapu. Catch and shooting, bit off the mark, Peterson, a bit long. What's interesting is uh, Shaput, a guard with great playmaking ability and shooting ability, but he's also 
dangerous on the post up. Fake action this time around. Denmark did not get fooled. Tati chains it off. And that's a long dagger right there. Durutovic giving Serbia a four point lead. Second team foul against Serbia. TV timeout. They get some going and they do. Nice shot right there. Peterson. But Durovic with the left. Ends his right back. Still a three point lead. It's going to be a foul. Reaching foul. Defense snatching it back, jumping forward, no call as it should be. Shaput taking his time, elevating top of the key, keeping his hands active. But Denmark secures the defensive board, great attack off the closeout, and Shaput using his length. Seconds. Defense positioned himself behind the backboard. Fortunately, miscommunication with Savic and the ball is turned over by Durutovic. Savage, bit off the mark. And Serbia just making life hard on Denmark. Even the guards are sealing, fighting for position. Getting their hands on offensive boards. And drawing fouls, fourth team foul against Denmark. Shaput, once again, seems simple, doesn't it? Kick out in the corner. That will help. But a 15 foul against Denmark. Savage 
Good patience, but the missing touch at the end. So now Denmark with an opportunity to tie. And they do. Tadic even raised his finger saying, I fouled. But let me tell you, buddy, you should be happy that there was no whistle blown because this would have been in the motion of scoring. That would have been an N1. So don't ask the foul too often. Sput knocks it down. Big answer right there. Putting Serbia back up to snatch back mid range. Tough hit. Tadic with the rebound. Serbia seeing Denmark battle back. But if you don't get under that two man action, you're going to face trouble. And the answer. I love it. And Shaput doing the copy paste of his previous bucket. Going once, going twice, missing. Tadic gets blocked. Rejection. Is he going back for it? Denmark. Are they going to tie this thing up again? Uh oh. It's going to be a travel call. We see the great block, great timing. Got to appreciate the fighting spirit of this Denmark team. Especially Bilal Pedersen. Chaput elevated, gave it up, and Tadic patient, composed, and unforced turnover. Tadic. Fake going in, Shuput does it often, but this time around did not do it right. And Denmark had an opportunity to tie the game up to 13 apiece. Not happening. Tough shot, great contest by Tadic. Drutovic took too long to give it up to Shuput in the paint. Three second call in the paint. Step back, and that's going to be a foul on the two point shot. You cannot challenge a foul call, my man. You can't challenge. So two free throws, five team fouls apiece. Both teams still have one foul to give. And these two free throws are huge for Denmark to stay in this game. And the ball collaborates. That was not a given. Christensen with the first free throw. And the second is off. Could have been a steal for Serbia. Still leading, but even though you have that feeling that Serbia is uh, executing better and uh, provides more insurance of the style of basketball that they're playing, Denmark is just being crafty, fighting back. Up to, hey, give me those cookies and let me go lay it up. The answer, right back. This man's been Coming up huge for Denmark, Bilal Petersen. And Tadic finishing, giving once again the two point lead to Serbia. 
the kickback. Great court awareness. That would be huge. But Chaput rises over everybody. Chaput fakes, and Chaput knocks down the dagger. 18-14. Denmark is running out now of options. And Serbia simply making them pay the price for their mistakes. That would hurt. Get another crack at it. Two minutes is a long time. And this man right there. Ooh. Is he going to elevate? Yes, he is. And that would be a... Well. No call. That's the second time that Tadic does a little touch foul and thinks that the whistle is going to be blown, but it's too weak to be called. And then the big N1. Serbia now bound to be in a bonus, but, but Christensen simply dismissing too many opportunities. Ball got kicked, 12 second shot clock. Given back to Denmark. Denmark is not an easy matchup. Don't get it twisted, especially with this man having the ball in his hands. Oh, no call. So, ball given back to Serbia. Shaput elevates. Two seconds, fading away, tough hit. We can have that, th uh, that feeling, though, that uh, Peterson rushed his two-point shot attempt a little bit. So 16 foul against Denmark. Both teams in the bonus now. No one can afford to commit a new foul. One minute and two seconds left on the game clock. So will Serbia finish off what they started? Drutovic! Oh, yes. Christensen scoring quick, but now Serbia only needs one. Tadic will try to finish it. Going to his strong hand. He does not. The ball taken. Once again, Denmark can't knock down those important two-pointers that could give them a chance. And Tadic will turn around for the win. Serbia escapes against Denmark. But Denmark will have a chance to try to shock everybody and beat Netherlands. Not going to be an easy task. So anyhow, this is it for the morning session. So I wish you all to have a nice lunch. And I'll see you in just a couple hours for the second part of day one of competition. The biggest part of the day is still ahead of us. So looking forward to commentate all these games and looking forward to be in your company. See you in a few.